Today, I Don't say it out loud. In the populace, the great and the small, as they meet and miss each other on the streets of everyday life. But first, let me ask you a question. If God became a person and stood in front of you, how would you know it was him? I mean, if he didn't glow or stand a thousand feet tall or anything, how would you know this was God? And if someone walked in here and said, hey everybody, I'm God, would you believe him? I didn't think so. Keep those questions in mind as I tell you a pretend story. Once upon a time, there was a man who was the president of a country. Show yourself, Mr. President, and give us a wave. This president longed for the people who had elected him to get to know him, and he wanted to get to know them. Now let's meet the citizens of this country. All of you citizens stand and wave to us. Now the person you elected to run this country wants to get to know you, but he's stuck in his office all the time and his security guards never let him go anywhere by himself. And this country is different from any you've ever been in because there is no television. So even if the citizens bumped into the president, they probably wouldn't recognize him. So the president came up with a great plan. He put on a disguise. Then he sneaked out through a window and he made his way into the night. Whole next day walking among the citizens. Go ahead, Mr. President, walk among them. That's it. And you citizens of the country, you see him, but you don't think he's anybody special. You just walk right past him. Go on, walk past him. Don't even look at him. Good. Then the president got a great idea that he wanted everybody to hear. So he cleared his throat and started to speak. But nobody listened to him. They just kept on walking. So the president walked away, sadly hanging his head. <laughs> but two of the people of the country who had seen him making his speech recognized him from pictures they'd seen in the newspaper. The knowledge of who this was hit them like lightning. Um, did you hear me? It hit them like lightning. <laughs> These two ran over to the president Sir. and hugged him and said, Hey, we know you. Christian. You're the president. <laughs> The president was overjoyed that someone had recognized him. Aren't you overjoyed, Mr. President? I see you jumping up and down. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I guess you are. So he took these two aside and told them all about his great ideas. See them huddling together? Finally, it was time for the president to go back to his office and start being the president again. But when he went, he took with him the two who had recognized him and listened to what he had to say gave them important jobs helping him run the country. The two were so excited, they started to dance. Which way you can make it? Okay, Mr. President and citizens, you can all sit down now. I want you to think about what I asked you at the beginning. If God were to become a person and stand in front of you, would you recognize him? Would you be like the two citizens who recognized the president and listened to him? Or would you have missed him as the rest of the citizens missed the president? The Bible tells us that Jesus was God in the shape of a human. He came to people he had made, but they didn't even recognize him. When Jesus tried to talk to them about God, they didn't listen. But to those few who did listen, he has given the right to become children of God. Watermelon, watermelon.